Hello friends, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. I have watched a few sad movies in a row lately. So I decided for this month's Popcorn Pick of the Month, I am going to watch a fun, light rom-com. We are watching Splash tonight. This has been on my radar for a while. Seems like springy, cause it's called Splash. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't know. I know this says Tom Hanks. Like, is this one of his very first, I think? And Daryl Hannah, and I've seen her in a couple things. Blade Runner as like the scary girl. And then I've seen her in Roxanne. Roxanne was the one with Steve Martin, right? And the nose, right? I think this is gonna be fun. I think it's gonna be happy. Better be happy. And uh, yeah, let's get started. If you want to come over on Patreon, we get to vote on things that aren't my popcorn pick of the month. We're having a horse poll right now for the Kentucky Derby, Secretariat, Seabiscuit, Hidalgo, Black Stallion, some other ones, and the Pierce Brosnan Bond poll just ended, and a war movie Wednesday poll will be coming up soon. So here's Patreon. If you're new here, I would love if you subscribed and like if you want, and here we go. I don't know if you guys or someone was pranking me when they said this is about a mermaid, but I'll probably be into that. Ron Howard. I like him, right? One of those. Okay. Eugene Levy. Oh, and John Candy. I didn't know that. I gotta see what year this came out. 1984. I don't want to think about how long that's been. Cape Cod! This seems so whimsical. I wanna go there. <laughs> Sepia tone. Okay. He seems too young for that. I'm ready! Listen to your father. Ellen, sweetheart, don't you wanna see Cape Cod? You know where we are. Change your mind. I don't see it. <gasps> what in the world? It is about a mermaid. Oh, love at first sight. <laughs> it's like a kid's movie. No, that little boy was looking up skirts. New York City this morning. Where are my carrots? If I don't have my carrots in five minutes, you don't get your money and you starve and you die. Jerry! That is a young Tom Hanks. Where the hell you grow these things? Under your arm? Honey, I can't now hear you. Now you agreed to take these hand? off our hands. Where the hell did I agree to that? Not you, your brother. What I'm doing is important to you. I'll call you right back. Me and Freddy, we were playing poker. You had no cash, so, uh... Freddy, the peeper? Oh my gosh. I'm all right if anyone's concerned. Oh dear heavens. I'm in Penthouse Magazine! I printed my letter! A lesbian? Freddie, you and I have to talk. What is it, missing petty cash? The cleaning girl. I don't care about that. And it was me. I bet the whole thing. Well, I still don't care about it, Freddie. <laughs> I love this guy! Do you hear me? I love him! <laughs> Give your older brother a kiss. Look at his scarf. Are there any messages, Mrs. Stemmer? Yes. <laughs> what are they? Your father called. Our father passed away about five years ago. Uh, should I get it for you? Uh oh. No. No. She had a little accident over the weekend, got hit in the head by some lightning. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny, Freddy. You can still do certain things around the office. Like what? Jumpstart a car? <laughs> It's not funny. I met Mr. Byright, the owner of Byright Supermarkets. Well, I made up a story about you being wounded and nominee wants to do business. Oh boy. Freddy, Freddy, Freddy. Check out the operation. Hi, Victoria. I'm sorry. What's the matter? Your voice sounds funny. What? Now? You're moving out of the <laughs> apartment now. Is so silly. Hey, if we were married, you wouldn't just move out like this. You might do that. Will you get off? <laughs> Was that you? Get off the phone. I didn't no, know you were on the phone. <laughs> what do you mean, do I love you? Well, uh, you moved in, didn't you? That is not an answer, sir. Hey, do you love me, huh? There you go. <laughs> there she went. Stop warning. He's doing nothing and he's funny. <gasps> oh, no. Don't you even. Yeah. What? It's embarrassing when you were 10, Freddy. So 
works for me. I stick with it. I gotta get more involved in business, and I intend to. Well, I'm I don't think we want him to. I know the business. They sell fruit and vegetables, or is it just fruit? <laughs> you know, by the time I came home, she was already gone. You know why she left me, Freddy? Because I didn't love her. That bitch. <laughs> Hey, Alan, where's Victoria? She, uh, she is sick. Where's Victoria? Flu. Something in here is not working. Our worst organ is not to be working. <laughs> Hi, guys. Where's that pretty lady of yours? She's not coming. I don't know. Maybe it's all for the best, huh? Hey, Alan. She left me! She moved out. My life's a shambles, okay? <laughs> That's the news. You want the weather? You see, drinking is really a matter of ratios. It's not that you had a lot to drink. It's just you're too skinny. Marcel, a bunch more drinks here, please. No, no. No, no. I don't want to get drunk. Oh, this is going to send your way. Don't do that. You guys are in love, aren't you? We just met. You're in love. And I think that's beautiful. Thanks. Ooh. I don't live too far from you. Do I expect too much out of life? Sorry. Hey, hey, what are, are you, you doing? Here, Both of you are crazy. I'm sorry. I just want to meet a woman and I want to fall in love and I want to have a kid and I want to go see him play a tooth in the school play. Oh. I'm kidding myself. This is never going to happen. Alan, I want you to meet some friends of mine. Tawny and this is Jill. I'm You're Tawny. Hi. Freddie, can I talk to you for a second? <laughs> Freddie is the worst. Pack your bags tonight, my man. We're going to Rio. I'm going to Cape Cod. What? Why would you go to Cape Cod? I feel better up there. I look out the water and I feel closer to something. Cape Cod over Rio. Wait, is he saying Reno? Where to? Cape Cod, Massachusetts. <laughs> Can you get in a taxi for that long? Be careful with that! This end up. Do you know what that means? Try holding that end up! Alright, It's still not this end up. Excuse me! I was dropped off on the wrong side of the beach. I was wondering if you could take me over to the island. Who sent you up here? Dr. Ross from Chicago? I see all wet. How dare you try and horn in at someone else's research? I'm just a guy. Walter Cornbluth is not a man to be taken advantage of. Is that him? Just stay out of my way, son. Oh, yeah, it is. He's a serious scientist. There's a guy down the beach runs people out the island. What's the name? The guy or the island? I'll find him. <laughs> Truth of the matter is, Fat Jack, I've, uh, <laughs> I've learned how to swim. If you wouldn't want me to do this, stop! There's water coming in the boat! What oh is boy. That? I can fix it. I'm a mechanic. Oh, please, it's gonna fall off. Where are you going, Mr. Fat Jack? I'll be back with the little boat. <laughs> the little boat? <laughs> I knew that girl was spying on me. What you looking for down there? Buried treasure. I'll tell you. None of your goddamn business! That's what I'm looking for! Is it's it Joy? <laughs> do we think uh, Jack's gonna make it? Don't do that. The engine always falls off in these movies. Oh, shoot. He can't swim! Oh, shoot! I am genuinely concerned. I'm very scared of water sports. Oh, oh. She saved him, just like Prince Eric. Oh. Go to Cape Cod, they said. Oh. <gasps> Did you save me? Did you speak English? That's a great question. Would mermaids speak English? Oh! What? She doesn't have a fin. She's naked. Hey! Come back! Just tell me who you are! What's your number? I don't know how to swim! Come back! Is that a deal breaker for a mermaid? Does he remember? I have a deep fear of fish. Does that surprise anyone? <gasps> so she can have legs sometimes? Does she have a weirdly buff overbearing dad? Like I don't know if this is a spoof or just like another story, you know? 
New York. Because she saw his ID. Look at these things. Okay, I'm going to stop. California. Your brother told me about your unfortunate experience in Vietnam. How about the police You're speaking? He was on the phone in Nam when the grenade went off, and ever since then he runs and gets in a car and drives away. <laughs> I don't know why. Let's review this. Look at Freddy stepping up. What did they say? There's a naked blonde girl. My name is Alan Bauer. You guys called me. Oh yeah, that's uh, for her. Hi. <laughs> she does that, doesn't she? I take it you know this girl. Yeah, I do. Who is she? I don't know. Of course. She looks like a great kisser. <laughs> yeah, that's that. The door is fenced. <laughs> Get this fixed to me. Right. I like the trope of someone seeing the US culture for the first time or the world earth for the first time. I want her to speak though. <laughs> okay. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Hi. Room service, three pebbles, some pancakes, some omelets. No, 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 no. I've got to get back to work. And I'll also pick you up some clothes. Not that you don't look spectacular in my robe. Mm. He's never even spoken to her. Bye. Things really don't get started down there again till four o'clock anyway. <laughs> Mr. Mango on my show. Oh boy. Not in front of the teamsters. Come on. I got the buy-right contracts. You want to check them out? No, no, you check them. <laughs> Bloomingdale's. The Anne Klein collection available in New York at Bloomingdale's. <laughs> she said it's suit. She can pull it off. Can I help you, miss? Can't you talk? Bloomingdale's. Oh, sure. How is she going to pay for it? Oh, no. She can talk. That's good. Was it really like this back then? You want to try that on? I couldn't get one leg in there. My daughter, on the other hand, is lucky. She's anorexic. <laughs> oh my gosh! This is the 80s. Okay. Why don't you do yourself a favor and stop in the lingerie department? A pretty girl like you shouldn't be wearing boxer shorts. I hope he doesn't think that she's just taking advantage of him. This is it! It's crazy and he's greatest clearance sale ever! Very open the video coming color TV is going on right now with prices that are insane! Get out of there, girl! Don't go to Crazy Eddie's. Hello! He should have brought her to work. I'm looking for a girl, Timmy. 200 bucks. The one I came in with this afternoon, a blonde. Bloomingdale. Bloomingdale's great. Hey, that's it! Thank God. We've been trying to tell her that it's closing time. She doesn't speak any English at all. Hello, Alan. How was your day? <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> no! No! Hey, how about those Knicks? They learned this afternoon for television. It's wonderful. Who are you? Where are you from? Pretty. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've never really thought about it before. Are you from Cape Cod? Another place. I got a cousin from there. Uh... <laughs> What's that? What's that? 
It's a movie what theater. What the hell are you doing? She's from out of town. Why don't you give it on a leash? He's like, that's not a bad idea. How long are you going to be in town? Six days. <gasps> Did she make a deal with Ursula? If I stay longer than that, I can't ever go back. Is there some sort of immigration problem or something? Where'd she get that? There you are, sir. Here you go. You know, I'm going to have to call you something in English. What yeah. are English names? She Jennifer, looks like a... Uh, Linda? Kim? Where no. are we? Madison. Kim? Kim? Uh, Madison, I like Madison. This is not a name. Yes, it is. Okay, fine. Good thing we were at 149th Street. Are you going back to where you live now? Would you mind staying with me? I want to stay with you. You're the reason I came here. He's like, how am I so lucky? And also, how much did you spend at Bloomingdale? <laughs> are we concerned? Being in Bloomingdale's without even knowing what a credit card was, can you imagine? I used to have dreams of that. Locked in the mall at night and just be able to have a shopping spree all day, all night. I want to know more about where she's from. Like, does she have a family there? Is she by herself? Is she with a pack? Probably would be called a pack of mermaids. A school of mermaids? A fleet of mermaids? Fellowship? Mm. Did she press a button on her arm? Doing, sweetheart? We're at sweetheart back. level. Madison, are you all right? I'm just changing. Open up this door. I'm gonna break it down. No, Ellen, please. No. Hi. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah. Well, why wouldn't you let me in? I'm shy. <laughs> After the car and the elevator and on top of the refrigerator. On top of the refrigerator. Come on. I'm shy. Oh, I forgot about these guys. You see this hole? It's just so I can breathe. Do you want to get your chair off it? <laughs> Let me see that. Take me back to shore. Now! Could ask nicely, Eugene. Madison, what is it? A man killed another man and he died right in the middle of the street. This is only TV. I got, I got you something. It's beautiful. <laughs> I love it. She's so no, adorable. You open it. Tiffany's. Hey, yo, produce man. I hope Freddie's not driving the business into the ground. You like that? Yeah, I do. Something about it. You like the sea? No. When I was about eight years old, I had this accident on a ship. I remember. What? I can't, I forget the words. I understand. Good cover, girl. When I was underwater, I could have sworn I saw, saw... What? What? Nothing. I was just a stupid kid. You wanna go home? No, I have five days left. My. On top of the refrigerator? I just don't think so. It's a very small area. Why do we want to go to a political dinner? Because the president will be speaking. Would you mind if I took Madison? <laughs> Something in here not working. I've never fallen in love, Freddy. He's got a point. Who said anything about me being in love? Admit it. No. Admit it. No. I got yeah. He's in love. He's in love. I don't care who knows it. Admit it. No. no! <laughs> Do you see a rat in his mouth? He does. How long have we been playing? About five minutes. The woman learned how to speak English in a single afternoon. She could probably speak English already. What about a woman showing up naked in a public place? Well, I'm for it, of course. <laughs> she had some kind of what, immigration problem? She greases her body up like a channel swimmer, goes to the Coast Guard, through some minefields, and then she's, uh, she's not sure. I've had a few minor fiascos in my own love life. You took a date to one of your own weddings. <laughs> I'm a freewheeling dude. I'll serve. You hold a beer, that'll be your handicap. All right, here we go. Oh. Freddy. <laughs> this is what we came to hear. We interrupt important, serious work. And you give us mermaids? Ellen, you're here. Hey, what, what? I brought you a present. I'm worried about his credit card. They were going to tear it down, so I bought it for you. Where did you get the money to pay for something like this? Where's your necklace? I traded it for the statue. Why? Because I love you. Nice, and I love uh, this uh, present. I didn't think he was gonna see it back. Two days, guys. There is a mermaid in New York City. I'm gonna prove to you. Oh, you're gonna get her wet so everybody sees she has fins? Light bulb. Oh boy. I don't think it works like that. Bam, pow. 
Wow. <gasps> you don't have to leave the country. I do. No, you could uh, marry him. Like an, an American. Our food is here. I guess we'll talk about it later. Circle pack. <gasps> Help her out, Ellen. She's really hungry. Oh my gosh. Imagine filming that. He loves her. Uh, what happened in the restaurant? Oh, I'm sorry. That's how we eat lobster where I come from. <laughs> no. no, 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 no. I don't care about that. I was trying to ask you if, if you wanted to get married. Madison, would you marry me? No, I can't. Why? I can't tell you. Well, you're dying, you were once a man, whatever it is, I don't care, you can tell Alan, me. Alan, I only have three days left. Please make them wonderful. Okay. Well, that's tough for Alan. You want to skate some more? Yeah, I do. He's mad. Because he wants to grow old and have a baby and watch it in a play. I guess they've been coming here together for about 40 years. They look very happy. They get to spend their whole lives together, don't they? Is this really what happens to water when it gets cold? Where I come from, it never gets cold. Hey, what a breakthrough there. Don't be rude. Your voice sounds funny. Well, it's called sarcasm. What, they don't have that where you come from either? I mean, I get it. Feels like she's lying to him. Madison, her skates are ready. Madison! <laughs> Madison! <laughs> Oh no. Enchanted! That's what this reminds me of. You know, when the princess comes and she doesn't know anything about their world. She can't go in the water. Wait, go say goodbye. Wait, you're gonna get married? So she has to give up her- We get our blood test today. We can be married as early as tomorrow. Before we get the blood test, I have to tell you everything. So, tell me. Not today. No pressure, no pressure, Mike. But if we get the blood test today, we're going to love being married to me. I just so happen to come from a long line of married people. Oh no. He's gonna wreck everything. Uh... Aquamarine is her color. We're getting married tonight. Oh, oh. thank you. Why is this red in here instead of out there? Do you have a broken arm? Union sensing. Oh, buddy, you have lost it. Thank you very much. Alert, boss boy with a suspicious hump. <laughs> He's reaching. I guess he just found out what his dinner cost. <laughs> I want to talk to the guy. It's time for me to tell you. Sure. We must meet. I am not crazy. There is a mermaid in there. Is that BMW? That was a BMW? Oh no. No. Behold the mermaid! Well, that wasn't fair. Alan, you better help her. Alan? Alan, what are you doing? I thought you loved her! Good afternoon, Dr. Ross. I thought he loved her. Anything? No change. I am not a fish! Where is she? Let's try some interaction. <gasps> this is so wrong! It's still her! Is she okay? I guess I thought you might be one. Yeah. I guess so. 
you said whatever my secret was, you'd understand. I know. That at least I was a human being. Alan. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's bad, Alan. That's bad. Get him out of there so we can concentrate on her. Did she eat worms, Mr. Bauer? Mr. Bauer, we need some kind of a mutant or a mutant. <gasps> oh, no. Is it true that she's also seeing Burt Reynolds? Oh, for oh, oh, Burt Reynolds, Burt Reynolds, Burt Reynolds. Leave him alone! Is anyone here from Penthouse Magazine? Uh, then we ain't talking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I think it's like Playboy. Be normal, guys. Be cool, yeah. be cool. What are you looking at? You never saw a guy who a fish before? <laughs> Get back to work! Fish man? I right, for they're calling you on TV, too. Personally, I think it's kind of cute. <laughs> All my life, I've been waiting for someone. When I find her, she's a fish. Nobody said love's perfect. Oh, Freddy. Freddy's right! Every day, people meet and they fall in love. Every day, and look what I got. <gasps> people fall in love every day, huh? Yeah. Well, that's a crock. It doesn't work that way. Do you realize how happy you were with her? Every day. Come on. Some people will never be that happy. I'll never be that happy. Freddy. Freddy's right right now. <gasps> this is cruel and unusual. Her fin doesn't look so good. Tomorrow, I want to see how she interacts with other marine life. Then we'll be ready for the eternal examination. <gasps> Are we considering? I'm considering everything. Are you considering the possibility that you might be a sadistic pig? Hey, yo. Run along now and see if you can't find a unicorn. Ooh. Ooh. Strongly dislike that dude. Madison. Come on, buddy. Do the right thing, Walter. Cause she loved you, dum-dum. I don't deserve any painkiller. Get out. Oh, ah! Let's talk. Hey, I said let's talk. Let's talk! Ah! Ah! You destroyed my life, Cornbluth. I just had to prove to everybody that I wasn't crazy. I just didn't think about how it would affect you. Or her. Or her. I'm really a nice guy. You're not very nice to the boat I've been people either. every employee of the United States government. Nobody could even get in to see her. I can. Come on. <laughs> Are we working together? I do like when people have a change of heart. Freddy too. Yep, we need Freddy. These are doctors from the Stockholm Institute. Hey, who are they sound about it? He deals? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, uh, just a second. Bad year in Svensk Vetkin Skopsman. So long the vague Fransperia. Yeah. Get her in Turf and uh, in Tom's penis. Many of your fine and nudie films come from Sweden. Well, after you see them four or five hundred times. I'm not supposed to let anybody in there until Dr. Ross gets back with them sweet people. These are the Swedish doctors. Isn't that one right there kind of dark? He's dirty from the trip. Do you think we're going to steal the mermaid? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's all right. Yeah. Good joke, man. Good joke. Good joke. <laughs> Her heart rate monitor. Oh. This is a big secret you've been keeping from me, or is there something else? No, that's it. Don't feel guilty. You're about what? About not loving me anymore. All the time we were together, you always knew how I was feeling. Did you tell now? Oh my God! What's going on in there? What happened? That creature! How you with that man? She'll melt your face right off. Where's Freddy? Does she have legs now? Hiya, boys. Come on in. The water's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Is this in the National History Museum? They've got an army base? Legs. But now what? I don't think we'll be followed. We did it! But you came in with the Swedish thing. <laughs> I didn't even like you when I first met you. Nobody 
What are they gonna do, though? Is he gonna have to let her go? <laughs> Lost him in the wall. I'll swallow the bag. Oh. Just do as I say. I caused all this. Now I'm gonna finish it. Get the hell out of here. <gasps> What's he gonna do? Um. What a week I'm having. You should get out and get in a cab. Move that thing out of here. Up yours, Gomer. I'm waiting for a fare. Come on. <gasps> I wish I could go with you. Caleb, remember when you were eight years old? You were safe under the water, weren't you? You were with me. I mean, that, that was real? That was you? <laughs> that was you! <laughs> This is great! I can go with you and still come back and, and see Freddy at Christmas. You can't ever come back. I understand. Oh, shoot. Remember this had to be happy? You have to go! You have to go! I love you, Madison! Go! Leave her alone! <gasps> oh, I can't swim, I forgot! Oh my gosh! Can he breathe underwater? This is a little bit insane. I did not see this coming. What? <laughs> he doesn't get a fin though? He just magically an underwater kiss. Okay, I'll take it. <sighs> I wonder if he'll miss like mattresses, steak, non-wrinkly pruny hands. No, he's a mermaid now. It's funny, they just like totally left that part unexplained about... <gasps> Wait, is that a city? Okay! But they didn't say like why she only had seven days or six days. Okay, <laughs> that was fun and silly. And I think it wasn't trying to be anything more. Like it was a story about a mermaid in New York. So it was what it was supposed to be it was cute i totally believed her innocence it was just crazy seeing tom hanks that young and you can tell it was still him but he has finessed his craft as he went on it reminded me of like enchanted with maybe some more nakedness <laughs> but i thought it was cute and what it was supposed to be and it was corny and silly some rolling your eyes moments but I think it was kind of fun. In 1984, this is one I would have gone to opening night of at the theaters and had my popcorn fun. So, okay, thanks for watching along with me. I'm glad I saw that one. Daryl Hannah was a beauty, holy cow.